welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea, and in today's video, I'm sharing easy spring Dollar Tree DIYs. And let's get into the video. For my first Dollar Tree spring DIY, I'll be making this floral flower pot. You will need a small terracotta pot from Dollar Tree, some floral napkins, Mod Podge, and white acrylic paint. I'm starting with painting the pot white using a foam brush, and I ended up doing three coats to cover the whole pot. I'm taking one of these floral napkins I found at Dollar Tree and unfolding it. I'm now cutting out all of the flowers and I'm mixing it up so sometimes I'll just have a single flower by itself and then other times I'm grouping a few of them together. There is also another layer to these napkins, which you'll want to make sure to peel off. I'm cutting out all the flowers, so not much of the white space is left showing, but you could leave that if you wanted to, especially if you painted your pot white. I'm now applying some Mod Podge with a foam brush to the areas where I'm going to be placing the flowers. And I'm pressing the flower onto the pot and then smoothing it down with my fingers and then adding another layer of Mod Podge on top. I found sometimes if I was a little bit too rough with the foam brush, then I would rip some of the paper napkin. So just be careful with that, but you can always press it back down with your fingers. I'm just placing all these flowers around the pot and doing a mix of the larger sections and some of the smaller flowers. Now I'm going to let this dry for an hour or so before adding another layer of Mod Podge over top of all the flowers. Now that the final layer of Mod Podge has dried and all the flowers have set onto the pot, it's time to put in these fake flowers from Dollar Tree. And that is our finished floral pot. Today I am so excited to be participating in Heidi Sambul's Friend Friday Hop. Ten of us crafters here on YouTube got together to bring you lots of fun spring DIY inspiration. I will have the link to the next video in the hop in my description box. So once you're done this video, be sure to go there and click over to the next video and then keep going through the hop and watch everyone's videos and leave them some nice comments and let them know I sent you. For my next Dollar Tree Spring DIY, I'm going to be making this blue speckled mason jar vase. You'll just need a mason jar, some blue acrylic paint, along with some brown and black acrylic paint, and some twine. To start off with, I'm painting my mason jar with the blue paint. And I ended up having to do four or five coats to get the opacity that I wanted on the jar. <music> to 
To get this speckled look, I'm mixing some brown and black acrylic paint with an old toothbrush, and then I'm getting the paint all over the toothbrush, and then using my finger to flick the paint off the toothbrush onto the mason jar. I'm now wrapping some thin twine all around the top of the mason jar and securing it in place with hot glue. I'm just using some scissors to trim off some of the excess little threads from the twine. And here is the finished speckled mason jar. And now it's time to add in some flowers. I got these bunches of baby's breath from Dollar Tree and I'm putting them in here. I think the white and the blue look so pretty and so springy together. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you are, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments which of these DIYs is your favorite. My third Dollar Tree spring DIY is this farmhouse flower bucket. You'll need one of these silver flowers and garden buckets from Dollar Tree, along with some black and white acrylic paint, floral foam, and some nautical jute rope. I'm using a foam brush to paint four coats of this white acrylic paint onto the metal bucket. I'm now taking a piece of sandpaper and lightly going over top of the paint just to give it a bit more of a rustic look to have some of the silver shining through. I started going over the letters that say flowers and garden with a thin sharpie, but it started to not really work that well after a while. So instead I took a thin paintbrush and some black acrylic paint and I'm using that to paint over top of the letters. taking this nautical rope from Dollar Tree and cutting off a strand that is just long enough to wrap around the bucket once and then I'm gluing it in place with some hot glue. Now I'm placing the block of floral foam inside and it's time to add in all of the flowers. I got these flowers at Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting off the stems with some wire cutters and then poking them into the foam. You can add as many different flowers as you want and arrange them in lots of different ways to suit whatever color scheme you want. I'm just using these white flowers with a little bit of greenery and then I'm filling in all of the empty spaces with this reindeer moss. If you're not yet following me on social media, you definitely should so we can stay connected. All the links to everything will be in the description box below.
For my last Dollar Tree spring DIY, I'm making this burlap covered vase with lavender. I'm using this candle holder from Dollar Tree along with some leftover burlap I had from Dollarama and this lavender also from Dollar Tree. Since I'm working with leftover burlap scraps I had laying around, I'm cutting it with scissors and just folding it around this candle holder to make it fit and then I'm gluing the sides together. The idea is to kind of make it look like a little burlap sack. Then I'm just putting the lavender inside and taking a piece of thin jute cord and tying a bow around it. box to go to the next video in the hop. Subscribe to my channel and turn on all the notifications so you don't miss out when I post future videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all of these spring Dollar Tree DIYs and I'll see you next time.